qualification of the student, what it is. Then Atma Bodha, clarity in thinking. Viveka Chudamani, about Viveka, how to understand the truth and uh, vis a vis to the, what is seen to be truth. Hmm. Then various Dakshinamurthi Stotram, Manisha Panchakam, Bajagovindam, huh? Yati Panchakam. Sadhana Chadushta, Sadhana Sadhana Panchaka. These are all the Advaiti content, Dhritrishya Viveka. So many such texts for the people to get a hold of this philosophy. Then he went on to explain the nature of devotion. Various Stotram, Kashi Vishwanatha Stotram, Rudrashtam in Rudra, what do you call it? Lingarthakam, Mahishrasana Maddani Stotram. That's the first rap song ever written. Annapurna Sutram, Tanagadara Sutram, Ganga Sutram, Lakshmi Arthakam, Lakshmi Stotram, and then commentaries on Vishnu Sahasram, commentaries on Dvaita Sahasram, and then Shivananda Lakshmi. Endless. I mean, I do not know. He never had an iPad or anything. When did he get a time to even sit down and write? It is said that he will keep on talking and this, the disciples go behind him and constantly writing down because every word he says is a statement of truth. He never tired, never tired from his active life of being a missionary. And when he finally was able to quit, he told his students, I am leaving you a a, a, a legacy. It is necessary for you all to continue to do this prachar of the truth. Missionary work is not sitting in one place and, uh, and establishing your authority over some land or a set of people. It is not a kingdom. It is a constant work. And, and never get tired about talking the truth. Be your own student first. Never compromise on truth and ever be eager to teach the most interested students who come to you. And thus his life was a very great inspiration for many, many masters who came later on. Vivekananda, Swami Chinmayananda, so many others. And our own Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda just walked exactly the way Shankaracharya has prescribed. Never stopped going to places and giving lectures for the continuously for 42 years without stopping. And he said very clearly, if I rest, I rest. I never want to rest. Even the last few moments of his life, last few days of his life, he was ready to teach. He came to LA. This place is so blessed. He came to Los Angeles to teach last part of his life. But as even he was about to leave for LA from San Diego, he collapsed. And he was taken to the hospital there. And he waited because there was supposed to be a, a spiritual camp, a seminar here for a week. So very many arrangements were done for Gurudev to give the lectures here. Well, it so happened that he could not, he was hospitalized. So he sent his uh, immediate disciple, that is Swami Tejumayana, and he conducted this uh, camp here. And the last day after the camp was over, all of them went to San Diego to <coughs> see Gurudev. He was sent And the doctors were debating whether to pull the plug or not, because he was in the, such a condition. So, but uh, you know, who has the guts to pull the plug? <laughs> For a Mahatma who is there, and you know, if he has a family member, somebody can decide, but who will decide now? As they were debating, the nurse came and said, he did it himself. The last decision also, he never allowed anybody to do it, he just withdrew. And he waited for the camp to get over, so that he can leave without disturbing the program. And then this body was taken from here to India, it was 
Samadhi was done there. So he very, very, very uh, devotedly followed the path of Shankara, established centers, etc. Now, therefore, the tradition that we have as Shankaracharya is a tradition of knowledge, a tradition which does not compromise on speaking and pursuing the truth. It is not only based upon the scriptures, commentaries of one Shankaracharya himself, or by Shankaracharya himself, but also logic, scientific reasoning, and open, what you call, unbiased discussion. That is how our own Puja Gurudev established his mission as well as he had asked all of us to continue on the path. So at this point I conclude uh, with a small beautiful verse from uh, Shankaracharya which gives a, in a small one single verse the beauty of Advaiti, the teaching. Kim Jodis Tabavanuman Hanime Ratro Pradipati Kam. I will explain this also to you a little bit. Kim Jodis Tabavanuman Hanime Ratro Pradipati Kam. Sadevam Ravidi Badarshan Avido. Kim Kim Jodi Rakya Hime Chakshustasya Nimi Lanadi Samehe Kim Jodi Yodarshane. Tatraham Bhavan Paramagam Jodis Tadasmi Prabho. The teacher is asked, asking the student, I will tell you what is Advaita means. Advaita establishes the fact that the absolute truth is within you, nowhere else, and outside is only a reflection of that. The one which is there out there as the reality is none other than the one which is within you. What is referred as Atman here is itself is referred as Brahman outside. When it is with the, in reference to the whole world, it is referred as Brahman, the reality behind the whole cosmos, and the same one which is within you as the individual awareness is referred as Atman. And that is to be realized. This is the purpose of life. Kim Jodi Hi Tava, what is life for you? He asked the student. The student says, son, Kim Jodis Tava, he is asking, he says, Banuman Ahanime. During the daytime, it is the sun which is the light for me, the student says. If that is so, what is the light for you in the night? Ratro? He says, two lights. Or this lights. Pradipadikam. Syadevam, if it is so. Ravideva Darshana Vidav, to see the sun and this light, what is the light? Chakshu. My eyes. Chakshu. Tad Vimilanadi Samaye, when the eyes are closed, do you see? When eyes are closed, do you see? You do. How do you see dreams? <laughs> Don't you see dreams? With eyes open? You are a daydreamer. In the night, do you see dream or not? Yes. Eyes are open. No. So how do you see the dream? With my thoughts. So to see the eyes are closed also, I know my mind. That the, through thought, I know I have closed my eyes. All right. So to see the eyes, what is the light? Thoughts. To see the thoughts, what is the light? With what light do you see? He says, my awareness, that is the light. So the Shankaracharya finally said, you are that light. <laughs> you are that awareness, the absolute light, because of which you are aware of thoughts, because of which you are aware of your senses, because of which you are aware of the world, and therefore the absolute light is within you. Tatraham bhavan paragam jodi. I am the supreme light that teach student ex as now convinced, he says, Tatastu. That's all. So, a great master can be a very simple person. Three teachings can be very lofty. The words are very simple. If you can catch it, 
you got it. Thank you very much.